What is going on guys? Jason here and I do have an exciting announcement for you today. We just put out LaunchBox 9.4 and then 9.5 to fix a minor bug with it uh, with lots of new stuff and lots of exciting stuff. But today this video is actually focused on MusicBox Alpha. Now I know you guys all know about MusicBox Alpha, but we have added a killer new feature that I think you guys are going to love. So I'm going to start from the very beginning and I first want to say that this works even with the demo version of MusicBox Alpha. So this doesn't cost anything to do any of this stuff today. Uh, the killer new feature that we're going to be going over is ripping CDs. Now that, that might not sound amazing, uh, but I'll tell you what it is because it's the best solution available for ripping CDs, literally. Um, and we'll go through that in a second. Let's actually start from the beginning uh, and I'll show you the process of getting Music Box Alpha up and running without any cuts, without any uh, video editing at all. So you guys see the process, see how quick it is and see how easy it is. So I have this setup right here on my desktop that I've downloaded from the website and we're just gonna run the setup here and go through the process and it should be real quick and easy. We're just gonna hit basically next, 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 whatever. I am gonna put decom backslash MBA in there for the path and install it. And within moments, we'll be up inside a brand new copy of Music Box Alpha up and running. It literally takes just seconds, okay? And you, you'll notice it is the demo version up here, um, but this will work for 1,000 songs and the ripping CDs portion of it will work for free. So the first thing we're gonna do is just add a music folder, which is easy as pie. I'm just gonna click the link there and click add folder. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to my music folder and click close and it will quickly parse through all the music in my music folders uh, and not only that but it will download artwork for all my artists uh, and any missing album artwork and all that stuff uh, nice and quickly and easily for you obviously you already have music in here it does take a little bit of time to download the images but you can just set it and let it go and you'll notice that we do have a 1000 song demo collection restriction reached um, so it will only show a thousand of your songs. Um, that is the free version. Uh, the premium version is also available though. Um, uh, so that, and it's only $10 right now. It's still only $10. So that's certainly something you can do, but you don't need to do that uh, to get the CD ripping functionality. Now, uh, just to, as a quick demo, I can go into Avril Lavigne here and I have uh, the two albums here that it's scanned. Uh, and songs and all that stuff. We can also filter by uh, albums and it's loading up all my album artwork and then also genres or, and it's just magically building this based on, on the album art, or we can load up uh, the songs themselves. So that's just a quick demo of the interface. And of course it's a player, so you can play the music, but I can't play any of this music or I'll get tagged by YouTube, of course. But anyways, the ripping functionality is what we're really here to demo. And this stuff is incredible. Just so you know, uh, I will be making a couple of video cuts uh, so that you don't have to sit here bored while I'm doing the ripping process. But up to this point, there has been no cuts. Uh, I'm, I'm just showing you ex exactly as it is. Uh, but from this point forward, just so you know, yes, there will be some video editing cuts. Uh, I'm gonna insert a disc here. I think I have Breaking Benjamin Ember. So I'm insert a disc. All right, so the disc is going into my CD drive and we'll give it a second. It does take a second for it to parse the disc, but eventually when the CD is recognized, you will see a disc pop up here in the right-hand corner. And there it is. So then it says Breaking Benjamin 2018 Ember. And when we click this disc, we have the option to, to rip it or edit, metadata, edit the metadata and then rip it. I'm just gonna say rip it. It's that easy. You're ripping the CD. It's gonna end up in the folder that we've added and it will make a perfect rip. Now, what I mean by that is that we're using an open source program called QTools in the background to do this. While it's going, I'm gonna go show details over here and you'll see the details, but you don't even have to look at this screen if you don't want to. Um, but what QTools does is amazing and this has been this software has been around for a long time, but we've made it easy. Basically, it's never been super easy to use. Um, but the amazing thing about it 
is it makes guaranteed accurate rips of your music. What that means is it is twofold. One, it knows when it finds an error on the disc for the most part, usually. And two, this is the best part. It compares your rips. It uses a checksum to compare your rip against other people's rips from around the world to make sure that yours matches other people's and guarantees you that you have what's, you know, a, a perfect rip. In other words, when you listen to the music, you're not going to notice any uh, glitches or hiccups uh, from having a bad rip. And, be and believe me, if you use other software like iTunes um, or more common, common uh, music player applications, you will run into CDs that don't rip properly. Uh, and I am anal retentive about my music collection. Obviously, I, I built this whole application around that. Uh, so having this ripping functionality built in and so easy to use is really pretty incredible. Now I'm going to cut to when this ripping process is finished. And uh, I'll show you what, it, what happens when the ripping process is done. All right, so the rip is completed. And you'll notice up here in the right-hand corner, we have a green check mark, a nice little ribbon there that verifies that we do have a perfect rip. Um, if we go and right click and say, or left click and say show details, it'll say perfect rip completed and confirmed for Breaking Benjamin 2018 Ember. All tracks were accurately ripped with confidence 54. Now that confidence 54, roughly, it's, it's sort of an estimation, but roughly it means that uh, around 54 other people confirmed that your rip is accurate and matches the ones that they had. Uh, so you know without a doubt for 100% certain that you have a perfect rip of that particular CD, which is so, so handy. Because uh, otherwise, you're likely to run into uh, hiccups in the music and other things that will just drive you nuts. Uh, anybody who's ripped a significant number of CDs knows how big of a headache it can be. But Q-Tools, along with this easy adaptation of it, really makes this whole process a bigger walk in the park than it has ever been before. Uh, so I'm particularly proud of this particular implementation here. Uh, so we'll close out of this and, and we'll go through some, some of the other options. Uh, we have, uh, you can go to the new album. So it'll take us to the new album, Ember, here. And uh, there's also, we can open the ripped album folder. And this will open the files. Uh, we're ripping to FLAC, which is basically the industry standard lossless audio format, which results in some larger files than MP3s, but it is literally an exact match of the CD that you get. And there is compression involved, but it's not lossy compression. MP3s will never sound as good as the original CDs. And it is questionable. Some people can tell the difference. Some people can't. Uh, but with this, you have a perfect replica of the CD. And with disk space not really being an issue these days, uh, CD is going to be like 300 megabytes like this is. It's well worth ripping losslessly these days. Another thing that most music programs don't do by default. We have a log file and the Q file. You'll also notice that this is an album in a file, which is also wonderful because if you change the track names or any of that stuff later on, you don't have to update the file name. And it's just really nice having a single file for a single album. Less files means less conflicts with syncing programs and all that kind of stuff. So that's a, a wonderful feature as well in my book. Lastly, you can, of course, remove the new album and delete the files if you choose to do so. If, for example, this rip was not a perfect rip, it would either come up with a question mark or an X. An X meaning there was an error in the rip and the rip did not work out. Um, and it's, you might as well just throw it away. And in that case, it will. Otherwise, if it can't verify it as an accurate rip, but the rip did work, then it'll come up with a question mark. And at that point, you can have you have the option of keeping the music or you can click and remove it and it will delete the files and also remove it from your collection. So it really can't get any more convenient than this. Uh, I've never seen a more convenient ripping solution. Yes, iTunes does it easy, but they don't do it well. Uh, so again, I'm really proud of the solution. Um, 
huge thanks to the QTools development team. I actually did uh, code some additional stuff into QTools in order to be able to support all this in Music Box Alpha. And I released that source code. Uh, and you can get at that uh, from the about screen, actually, if you're interested in that. Thank you guys all so very much. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, demo of this, and I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, and like I said, all this stuff is free, so you're, you're free to use the ripping um, yourself. There is no limit on how many CDs you can rip. Uh, there's just a limit on the number of albums and artists that you have in this program. Uh, going forward, I do plan on, the next thing I plan on adding, adding is a tag editing. So you can change the names of all the songs and the artists and all that stuff. Um, as well as embedding uh, album art and all that stuff into the music. Uh, so I will be making this a completely fully featured FUBAR 2000 competitor. Um, every music feature will be in here sooner or later with a focus on easy and obvious and well done. Uh, as we've always focused on, even with LaunchBox, that's the goal. Easy and obvious and well done. So thank you guys very much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.